All right, let's do this. <laughs> I'm just doing that because I can, right? I mean, when you can do something because you can, that's a good reason to do it. Don't judge me. Welcome back, everybody, to Rebirth. I am the Bearded OG, and I am kind of pinned down right at the moment by a big old grizzly bear. Uh, we're probably going to need to make a secondary... Let's get some bleeds going on him. Oh, okay. I guess he's dead. Uh, we're we're going to need to make a secondary <laughs> exit out of this place. So, yeah, um, I have moved everything over here. Um, but I, you know, I haven't permanently organized my storage yet because, um, I, I want to wait till I can make actual storage boxes. So right now I just have everything in these cardboard boxes and it's, it's somewhat organized. Um, in fact, actually it's, it's, it's actually pretty decently organized, um, so, you know, I've got like uh, mods in there. I've got raw resources in there. I got parts in there, et cetera, et cetera. So it's in pretty good shape. Um, but uh, I did put all the food in the refrigerator. I have um, all of the crafting stations, except for the food related stuff, uh, set up up here. And th this isn't necessarily going to be the permanent location for all of these things, but it's where I, you know, currently have it. And, um,. Uh, I, I set up a, a medicine cabinet in the bathroom for meds and chemicals. So we need to we need to deal with this situation here. Um, oh man, I wish I could pick these stoves up and put them back down, but you can't. So I don't know if we can if we can craft those. Um, are those wall ovens? There might be like a furniture block that we can craft for those. So we'll have to figure that out. Um, we're keeping the dishwasher there for now. If we, uh, or when we, yeah, we might replace this with an actual sink because I think we can plumb sinks in and, and actually get water from, well, actually that might already be plumbed in. Let me, let's, uh. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Um, I hate the way that sink looks, <laughs> but it, it does work. It does work. So, yeah, we might just we might just keep it that way for for the time being, until I can come up with a nicer looking sink and one that we can plumb uh, plumb in. And when we get the distiller. <laughs> I'll probably cut this cabinet out and we'll put the distiller uh, down in there. That's the plan. But anyway, we got to figure out this landmine situation. So I can't pick it up because it says I don't own it. Um, I don't want to ignite it because it'll probably catch the house on fire. One thing we could try to do is break the cabinet out underneath it and see if it falls. But I don't think it will because I think it'll still be attached um, to the window there but we need to go get a fire extinguisher anyway and i've got a bunch of stuff that i got to sell at the trader oh i did get attacked by a bandit a group of bandits i didn't uh i didn't put uh, uh what i'm trying to say i didn't record it um i just had too much shit going on and i didn't think to record it but uh they did drop a, a generic perk book um, and we'll probably use that for charismatic nature once once we hit level two. And uh, we have two more melee, or, or no, two more expertise collections. One for melee, one for range that we can read now. Let's do that. And this will be tactical rifles. All right, and we'll read scythes. And that gets us to uh, 95. All right, nice. Oh, wait a second. No, yeah, right, 95. Hold on. 
Oh. Oh, okay. So we, we already hit level four inside this. I don't even know when that happened. So we've been working on Witch Doctor and we're almost maxed out on level five. That's amazing. Okay. Um, so that'll give us 20 more seconds of mind control. And for black magic, it will give us all of that stuff. Oh my God. That's nice. Skeleton zombies are immune to fire and, oh, and we can craft the arrows that'll do ferals, turn ferals. And we can do tier three skeleton warriors. Hell yeah. Okay. I didn't realize I was that close to that. <laughs> I've been so busy focusing on, you know, the move and everything that I didn't realize that. That is an awesome situation. Okay. So let's put uh, the food from the bear in here. Um, the bones. Well, here we should just, well, no, I don't want to do a, a quick stack because uh, we're taking these over to make a firearms repair kit. Uh, so we need to do this the, the hard way and the testosterone will go over in our medicine cabinet here. I might, uh, I, I might do two cabinets, one for meds and one for Kim's. I don't know. We'll figure that out later though. Okay. So yeah, we're going to go to the trader. We're going to sell some stuff. We're going to get a fire extinguisher. We're going to come back here and see if we can figure out what the hell we can do with about that. And then we're going to go do some jobs. So that is the plan for today's episode. And then I've got, obviously I got a lot more work to do on the place. Uh, I'm planning on filling all of this in with maybe the exception of, you know, the central part of it for a tunnel going down. This we might as well fill in. All right, well, we don't need to fill it in. We'll just re put these plate blocks in place and uh, get it upgraded. And, you know, this whole ladder business has to be upgraded. In fact, we can do that right now. Let's take that all the way up to concrete since it's our only way into the place. And let's get you guys upgraded at least to concrete. Okay. And there we go. Get these upgraded to concrete. I think I'll leave this open until I finish, you know, filling stuff in in here. Good. Okay. I have a few things back at the old base that we need to go take over to the trader as well. And then um, I'm probably going to just pull the land claim block up from here because there's no reason to have it and we'll set a new one down at our new base. We'll keep this place here, you know, so we can use it as a, a place to escape to or whatever. But all of this stuff's going to the trader. We're either, it's either ammo or, you know, we're going to sell it. And let's go ahead and break this. All right. We are finally moving away from the NT and T hub. Thank you, NT and T hub. You've been a, a nice little starter base for us. But we are moving up in the world. Yes, indeed. Go see the trader here. Come on in here so you don't make the door open and close. Uh, actually, first, let's get this going. And there's our AP ammo. Those, uh, those bandits are tough, man. I expended quite a bit of ammunition on them. A running... St oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I had five of these shoes, so let's craft that. And then... If we go to here, modify, and take these off, then we can make a tier two. Uh, where are we at here? Okay, so we have 5% stamina regen now whilst running. Very good. Okay, we're going to sell some stuff. Um, all of this stuff in here is just extra that we don't need to hang on to.
Okay, let's grab our firearm repair kit. Um, let's convert some more normal 7.62 to HP. And then we're going to go do an ammo exchange with Briston. And we have 32 more normal rounds that we can convert to HP. Uh, well, we have to make some more. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to make some more bullets. Um, so uh, I'm just going to actually keep that in here then for now. <laughs> well, maybe we should take it with us in case we run out of ammo. So we'll slide everything over a little more. And then let's for now lock that. And I keep I try and keep duct tape on me so that I can, you know, repair stuff that needs it. I think we're going to let our... Um, a tactical go a little bit longer before we repair it. I just want to kind of stretch that out as much as possible. So we have th uh, two more jobs. We still got to go finish John John's and we have the A dot place um, to do. So I think we'll focus on those jobs. Oh, you know what? I've got an airdrop too that I haven't actually gone after. We should, we should go do that. So we are, yeah, we are really close. A couple more kills and then we're Witch Doctor 5. So maybe, let's see, the, the fight for the airdrops probably going to be fairly significant. I'm just wondering if we should go do a job first to get Witch Doctor to 5 so that way we can get the feral arrows and all that. And um, I'm assuming I'll be able to, no, he's going to screw up the gate. Oh, uh, no, he's not. Hopefully I have all the stuff to make the tier three skeleton warriors. No, wait, no, we don't go back here anymore. That's not our house. House is over here now. Since, since we probably will be coming down this road from the trader, I think I'm going to clear all of this rough terrain so we can come through here more easily. Um, all right, let's just do that and that'll put stuff away. We're in pretty good shape on food and water. So yeah, let's go ahead and do some jobs. Oh, no, wait, we have to take care of the landmine. I, I thought I was forgetting something, but I wasn't quite, uh, can, okay, wait a minute. Can I make a fire extinguisher or what do we need for that? Is it just extinguisher? Inguisher? I think that's how you spell that. All right, it's not showing up. Um, maybe we can't craft those. Maybe we have to buy them. Fire extinguisher. Holy shit, those are expensive. Damn, son. I guess we, we don't want our new house catching on fire. <laughs> So I guess we got to do it. <coughs> wow. All right. We'll put that in the number six slot. Let's go ahead and take out the cabinet and see if, we, if this will fall. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> That's awesome. I wasn't sure if it was going to stick to the, to the wall. Okay. So that worked out um, better than expected. <laughs> so we'll just make a we'll just make another cabinet to fill in here. Um, I suppose we could put the distiller in here once we get it too. Um, yeah, maybe we'll just do that. We'll see. Alrighty, so we're done with the house. Um, let's keep the fire extinguisher. That that looks like a place you would keep a fire extinguisher. Uh, let's keep it handy. Um, Maybe in this cabinet here. That way we, you know, if we need it, it's there. So it's right underneath the stove. And let's just do this to get rid of that stuff. And I think we're ready to set up. So let's go finish the porta potty place first. John, John's John's. We started that uh, before and we got ambushed by a horde and then by that time 
Um, we didn't make it back before the end of the episode, so let's go finish that place first, and then we'll do the A dot. I wonder if that's the same A dot that I did in um, in the purge. If it is, it's shouldn't take too terribly long to do. I did have somebody comment about me calling that A dot, saying that's not correct, but it is correct. Uh, it's very common to refer to departments of transportations as the state. Oh fuck. As the state and then dot. So like I live in Colorado, so we call Colorado C dot, right? Uh Okay, why is the, uh, we ran into this before. My understanding is when they have that shield above their head, it means that they're being buffed by another buffer. Or guardian. I guess guardian. Is that the right word? I don't know what the terms are for those the, those guys. I Well, okay. The doctor's the doctor. The, I think the guardian is the guy who puts the purple shield around them, maybe? Um... And so, you know, that would be the, the, the big guy in the white t-shirt. So I don't know what the guy in the kind of teal green shirt, the one that gives them more melee, is his name is. And I don't know what the actual name of the the guy that gives them the radiation poisoning, you know, that's in the hazmat suit. So if you guys know the names of those dudes, just for funsies, that'd be kind of cool to know. Um, let's have... Okay, come on, get his get his aggro, dude. Fuck. He's I think it's, it's almost like he's too fat. Okay, there we go. Let's move that a little closer. Get a bleed going on him. Stack three times. We have no health bars, so I have no idea. How far along he is. Oh, okay. He was he wasn't actually hmm. didn't seem to be too much tougher than he normally would be, so I don't know. That's weird. Yeah, if, let me know in the comments, guys, what exactly does that blue shield mean? Because I thought it meant they were being buffed by another buffer in a group, but there was nobody else around for that. And also I know the name of the doctor and the guardian. What's the name of the guy that gives them more melee? He kind of wears like a a green shirt. And then the guy that does the poison. You know, what, what do you actually call those guys? I've just been calling them buffers because they buff, you know, the zombos. Anyway, all right. What is this? This is a clear. Okay. Let's, we started this process, but we're doing it again. We're level 24, and we just got a rebirth. I, would, I was afraid he was going to explode, but I couldn't quite tell. All right, grab the gasoline. We have a blue bag here. Oh my god. That was actually there when we got here, I think. I don't know. Not sure. Um here, let's put this back down here. We'll open the pass and gas. And more gasoline. <coughs> oh, I was gonna sell all this stuff too. All right, we'll do that later. Forgot about that. Since we're here, we might as well throw all of this in here. Okay. Let's go, pencushion. All right, I see four Zeeks there.
Rebirth? Nope. The other ones are not yet awake. This is deja vu, man. I feel like we've done this before. Because we have. All right. Got a duffel bag there. Rebirth? Yeah, she's going to rebirth. Oh, maybe not. I didn't see her, the loot prompt. Ramsey said if you don't see the loot prompt, they'll rebirth. Well, actually, what he said is if, if you see the loot prompt, they won't rebirth. So. Got somebody shooting a gun out there. Okay. Uh, let's grab this. And if we ever need plastic in quantity, this would be the place to come. What does one porta potty give you um, for plastic? Eight. And some iron, too. Wow. Yeah, you could really rack up a bunch of plastic here. If you wanted to take the time to bust that many of them open. Oh, shit. And now everybody's nightmare speed. No rebirths. Okay. No rebirths allowed. Uh-oh, that's coming. Shit. God damn it, we got another horde. Do we? Or is it just him? Maybe those were just some wandering Zeeks. Okay, these guys are probably just the POI zombs because I see the red, their red dots. All right, Pincushion, how you doing? He's attacking a pig. Okay, let's um pop that open. All right, have we hit uh, Witch Doctor 5? We have indeed. Now we're back to leveling size. Okay, beautiful. Oh, I guess I could have looted that little guy. Uh, motorcycle wheel. Guess we'll pick that up. Um, we could tr try to wrench that for um, a small engine, but I don't think I want to mess with that right now. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk over this. Yeah. Okay. As long as it doesn't have the LED, it's not an actual landmine. I just wanted to confirm that because you know we should know about those things. Nothing else over this way. Now we are gonna have a bunch of landmines over here. Oh, the snake's attacking the little guy. That's funny. Okay, get ready, pincushion. Let's get a little assistance here. What the fuck are you doing going to the bathroom right now? 
Get out of there, man. <laughs> this is not the time to take a piss. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. You can't get good help these days. Oh. Fuck off, dog. Okay, there's some... Oh, there's a... There's a who's one was it? That's what, his his the bully, right? Yeah, that's his name. He can't quite get over the fence. There you go. Landmines dog. Good doggy. Um It would actually be kind of cool if he broke through and then just ran over all these landmines. Or, it would also be cool if we could get some some cheese uh, bleeds on him. Oh, he's through now. Oh shit, that guy's fast. Oh my god. Holy crap. He's too fast. I, I can't, I don't think I can stay ahead of him. Not even probably with red tea. Where'd he go? Yeah, see, that's the boundary of the, our quest area. Okay, I'll tell you what. We have a red tea. Let's take it. And I'm going to take one of these just because we get... Uh, uh, no, sh drink it. We get double scythe damage. Got him. Nice. Okay. Fuck you very much. Okay, while we're, uh... While we're buffed up, let's move through here quick and just get the rest of the Zeeks out of here. Come on, assholes. Wake up. I'm here. Come get me. Where are they, uh, where are they all at? Oh, there's one. Okay, uh, red dot over here. Watch out for the landmines. God, there's a lot of landmines here. Uh, red dot over here. Oh, it's just you. I'm moving so fast I can't hardly aim. Thanks, Benjamin. Watch out for landmines, dude. <laughs> You're almost about ready to step on one. Don't step on it near me either, by the way. All right, let's do this. <laughs> I'm just doing that because I can. Right? I mean, when you can do something because you can, that's a good reason to do it. Don't judge me. Uh, there we go. And that one too. And that one too. And these two. Ow! <laughs> Damn. That kind of hurt. Okay. Another triple pocket mod. Ooh, this is... Oh, this is infested. Okay. Well, that explains why we had so many ferals. I guess we have to unlock this. So let's do it. Increase stun resistance. That's a head slot item. Nice. Okay. How about we take this apart for... Whoops, sorry. Uh, for the steel. We'll pick this up. And we need to bust into here. We'll 
pick this up as well. And uh, this will wrench. And I think we're done over here. Well, we have a few more things to loot, so let's do that. Then we'll move to the next job. How about we take that right now? Also, while I'm thinking about it, take all of that, except for give me this and this. And this. Now, do I have something I could put the triple on? Yeah, you've got a double. We'll swap these two out. Open up another spot for us. Let's take this for some food and water. See what's in the truck. And we have a little bit of gasoline over here that we can nice uh, get to as well. We'll wrench this for steel. And is that everything we can do here? Got a bicycle wheel. Uh, there should be something in here, right? Yes. Medium weapons bag. Tier 3 book fragment bundle. Are any of these plugs? I'm going to say probably not, but let's just bust one open just so we know for sure. Yeah. There is a something or other in here. Just a, a trash thingy. I guess since we went all, to all the trouble to jump up here, we might as well grab those two. Ah, oh, brass. I will take that. Do any of these other guys have those valves on the back? It does not appear to be the case. That's a bummer. Anything up here? Okay, those tankers over there have vaults. What? I don't see anything inside, though. That's really weird. Uh, I can't tell from this one, so let's just go down inside. Nope, nothing. All right, we'll just break out right here then. Okay, I think we're done here. Um, there's a, a few more resources I could come and harvest, but that's definitely an off-camera thing if we do it at all. You know what, though? I, I am going to wrench this really quick just to see if we can get a small engine. Let's just see what happens. We did not. Okay. So I still have not found a small engine in a forklift to date. Let's try this one. No, we got a, um, looks like we got a V6. Yeah, we got a V6 engine out of forklifts. Okay, so based upon that, I'm going to say you can't get small engines from forklifts. Pretty sure that's probably what the deal is. All right. Fair enough. Let's refuel you. And we'll put whatever will fit in there. So you're completely loaded up. Let's check uh, pin cushion here. Load him up. So, yeah, I think we, we have enough room to go do that other job so let's mark that as active and let's go do a dot
Thanks for your help there, buddy. You watch yourself out there, Benjamin. Oh, shit. God damn it. Of all the time for that to happen. Oh, fuck. That guy's scary and dangerous. Now we got a bear. Of course we do. Where is the bear? Oh, shit. Rebirth. Let's let him work on that guy. Um, okay, so this is not good. Can we... Okay, we can do this. <laughs> oh my god, really? Can we get up the stairs? Oh, yeah, 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 look at that. Beautiful. Uh, except for... Oh, I don't know that that helps us a whole lot. Uh, we're gonna have to probably break a block somewhere. Why do I give myself into these things? Um, okay, yeah, let's break this. Oh, wrong tool. Okay, let's... um. Get a little help here. Motherfucker. That's my macro doing that. Got him. Okay, what were we doing before this fiasco. Uh, looks like that wolf is not there. I was going to come back and harvest it, but maybe the bear ate it. Or destroyed it. We're heading to, to, to ADOT. That's what we're doing. Okay. Oh, uh, we got a corpulent. It's a little hot here. Let's go to the trader, turn in our first quest, and i got a couple other things I need to do there, and then we'll come back and do this. It's just too hot right now. Okay, let's open the book fragment bundle, and we don't have enough right at the, with this to do anything. Oh, actually we do. We can do another ranged. Okay. 
You know what? Let's. Uh, I'm gonna also go get smiles or not smiles. Uh, pin cushion too. He's just over at the vocational place because he's got a bunch of stuff in his inventory that I want to deal with too. Is that necessary? Okay, let's grab stuff out of here that we want to sell or otherwise do something with at the trader. We'll put that beer there. Uh, oh, here's, yeah, here's the range. Let's read that. Okay. Let's do an ammo exchange. 58 rounds. That's a, that's nice. That's very nice indeed. Okay, so let's go over here. Do another conversion. And then any additional casings and gunpowder we'll put in here. Go over to the shredder. Okay, get that going. Let's do our turn into wrecked. Pipe bomb, stamina loss. What does that do? Reduce stamina loss by 2% on the feet. Be nice to have. Um, I Okay, hold on a sec. What do we... What do we have on the feet right now? Uh, modify. Running speed. Congratulations. Here's your reward. Sucker. Sucker. I, I that would be nice. It really would, but I I want to I think I want to take the medium weapons parts bundle. So let's do that. What the hell do you want this time? What the hell do you want this time? All right, let's sell some stuff to him. Okay, we are up to 47. 07 on the cash. Here, let's... Can't we... Can we fix that? No, we can't. It's... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, all right, let's go to you, and um, we'll sell you this only and then let's look at our attributes <clears throat> so if we go here we're at level four now on constitution uh, we're at level three on strength we are 45.97 on charisma so we still got to get that up as soon as possible um, we can't take the next thing of deep cups till we, we get to level four in intelligence, I th think, right? Does it? Yeah. Unlocked at intelligence level four. Okay. So pack mule healing factor or iron gut. I'm thinking, can, can, can we do two pack mules? Do we have enough money for that? That's going to cost, uh, that's going to cost 54. Nope. We don't have enough. So let's let's go ahead and do a healing factor. Okay, so now we uh, we get one life every two minutes. Critical injuries heal 20% faster. Infections, radiation spread 20% slower. And we can use the quick heal key, the end key. Um, and it'll use... Bandages, first aid bandages, alacree were honey to quickly heal us um, at this level. And we can also quickly, uh, oh, quick heal can also disting, uh, extinguish fire with water. Okay, nice. So we'll just keep working on those as the money comes in. Um, that gave us, oh, nice. That gave us two medium parts and then one tier, uh, low tier part. Good deal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and repair this now. It's, it's so close that, uh, you know, we don't want it to break right in the middle of being chased down the street by a bunch of crazy zombies and a grizzly bear and a wolf. Situation that we seem to have found ourselves in very recently. Okay, we'll grab some more of those. And I need bullet tips before I can convert more of those. 
Let's do some bullet tips. And some casings. Do another conversion here with the rest of the uh, regular 7.62s that we have. Let's take a couple more jobs from Wrecked. I know we still have to do a dot, but time is money, and I'll wager you don't have any. Be nice to find a distiller and another tabletop stove. I'm just looking to see what's here. Invin Mopo Shack. Quick clean car wash. Let's do a buried supplies. I got some shit work for a fuck up like you. <laughs> this guy's such an asshole. Um, yeah, we'll do that buried supplies and let's do a fetch at the Navis Gain telephone. Oh, that's that's probably where we had our base. Um, I don't know what a Mopo Shack is, so let's let's well, do that. Just a job. Oh, more power! Yeah, okay. Like you. Perfect. More op uh, more options for um, small engines. Okay, let's go back to the base. We have to take care of this infection. I got a couple things to drop off, and then we'll do one more job uh, before we wrap up today's episode. We have one honey, and we're still under 5%, so we'll take that. I also have two big antibiotics in there, and I can make the herbals. Well, I have, I know how to make them. I don't know if I actually can make them. That prob Is that a Kim bench thing? Uh, I th think so. Yeah. Okay. Let's also... We got a couple things of meat in here, and... We have some boy. Well, we're not really in that bad of shape, though, water wise. Let's eat two of these. One, eight. Nah, we'll just eat one. Uh, I'm going to throw back one boiled water. Hopefully, we don't get sick. Okay, we lucked out. Very good. All right, let's go back to. Um, well, we don't have to do the A dot one right now. Which one's closest? This, whatever this, uh, yeah, the more power. Okay, let's do that one. Oh, I want to grab all of these body bags, too. Uh, I don't think they're part of the POI, but we need them for our witch doctor -y stuff. Oh, right. We were going to see if we could do the Tier 3 Skeleton Warriors. Okay. It won't take us very long to get through this Mo Power Shack. Whoa, shit. Dude. This must be a different one than... No, it's the same one because it's all looted. Okay, I guess I just didn't hit the trash cans outside. Grab those again. Cement and glue. Very useful stuff in the apocalypse. Pincushion's health is not in the best... in the best of shape, is it? Okay, dude, why don't you... come over here. I'm going to actually let you heal up a little more. Stay where you are standing. And take all of that stuff. Alright, you just chill there. We'll be back in a bit. Look at that! Small engine! Ah, yeah! Okay. So, I'm probably going to go ahead and go restore that that guppy mini bike um and start using it because um just because of gas gas is so damned expensive
we we can you know we can obviously get gas easily enough from the desert but we need a kim bench before we can do anything with it right so another small engine hell yeah a sleeper over there somewhere pick this up for selling Okay, let's pick the dryer up. It says dryer. So if we pick these up, do those... Okay, though, so those do stack as washing machines. If you guys did not see the last episode, I picked up a dryer. I set it down, and it was a dryer, but then when I picked it up again, it converted it to a washing machine. So it was really weird. in there got a big y5 o zombo just you another flashlight flashlights are rarer in uh, you know what I think I actually want this we could put it in our kitchen and put water in it uh, flashlights are considerably rare in Rebirth, and a desk is one of the best places to find them, FYI. Look at that. Drone medic. There's a junkie. Lots of cement in here. Drone cargo mod. So apparently, Mo Power is also a good place for drone stuff, FYI. Is that also the case in vanilla? I don't know. And that's it for all of this stuff. Grab that. I think we had a... Did we have a bird up here last time? I was expecting these other two to wake up, but they didn't, so... Um, yeah, let's just take them out with this so we get XPs. We are fairly consistently two-shotting normal zombs now with this scythe, which is pretty nice. I'm not looking forward to hitting level 30, though. No siree, Bob. Um, yeah, let's take that. Because then we're going to have to start dealing with Seekers. And those guys are motherfuckers. Uh, we should be able to put this on here. So we're completely out of space now. Uh, mod space on our hat. So, you know, we could take the cooling mesh mod off and just put it on when we go into the desert. As um, a way to deal with that. Okay, let's pick this up. Don't really need any more cardboard boxes, I don't think. And this is a plug. What stuff? Oh. Okay, so that's a wandering horde. Because they're not targeting us. Whereas a boss event, they'll target us. Um, also, I asked Ramsey what the difference is between a Wandering Horde 
and an outbreak. And he says they're the same thing, except for that with an outbreak, when you kill zombies, more will respawn within a set period of time. And I, I guess the set period of time is random. So, for example, let's say you have a five-minute outbreak. Well, each time you kill a zombie in a wandering horde, another one will take its place um, for five minutes. And then after five minutes, then the respawn, respawn stop. So that's the deal with all of that. Yeah, this horde has a lot of buffers in it. I see a doctor and a, I guess, a guardian at least. So I'm just trying to assess how big it is and whether or not we want to try and fight it. It's, I mean, they keep coming, so I don't know how many more of them there are down the road that way. Okay. How are we doing? So we're 25% of the way on scythes and just about to the next level on tacticals. Can we make a yellow tactical yet? We can, and we're actually 61% of the way to green. Okay. Look at them all congregating over at our house. Oh, is that? That's interesting. Are they deliberately targeting our base, or is that just coincidence? That they happen to be congregating in our driveway. <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, I haven't set a bedroll or a land claim block down yet at the at the base, so I don't know how the game would know that that's our quote unquote base. So that's probably just coincidence, I would think. Why don't we fight this horde? Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of try and go around and come in behind them. Oh shit, though. We don't want to get too far away. They might despawn, huh? Okay, let's go this way. Okay, so let's get here. Uh, they, they act like they know where I'm at. Alright, the booger knows we're here. I want to I kind of want to know where our fast movers are, too. You know what? Actually, he's just going to get killed. So let's uh, grab all of that. Is that encumbrance? No. Not okay. All right. Well, let's get this done. These guys are worth doing for the loot bag drops too, not just the XP. There's a fast mover there. Is that, a, that looks like that might be a kamikaze, but he's going the other way, so. Well, okay, both of the, what the hell are those guys doing just digging like that? Sticking holes in my driveway. Damn it, Jim. There you are. Okay, she's down. Don't rebirth. She rebirthed. God damn it. Well, we one shot her. Give me some extra damage, buddy. No, 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 no. No spitting allowed on my property, asshole. Oh shit. That's not allowed either. No blowing up either. Okay, you... Give me some protection. Thank you. Okay, 
Okay, they killed uh, the one buffer. She's still armored. I. We can still bleed. Yeah, we can still bleed them though. So even if we're not doing a lot of damage, we're getting bleeds on them. And I don't think the armor is going to help them with that. We can make the darking, darken, darking, scythe. Nice. We're making good progress, guys. Really good progress. Um, what's the matter with me? I couldn't move for a second there. All right. Oh, it's the push thing. Push thing's happening again. See, I can't get to him. All right. Well, then you get this. Uh, I don't think we can damage him while he's under our control. I think there's friendly fire turned off. Could be wrong about that. But. Thanks for your help, man. Okay, that was profitable. Oh my god. <clears throat> um. So yeah. What the hell though? <laughs> Why were they over here digging in the driveway? That is so bizarre. Uh, I really don't want to go down there. Okay. I'll have to fill that in later. Uh, we have the same thing going on over here. Oh my goodness! Look what these guys did! That's the first time I've noticed that. It's like they're trying to sap the place. Big mama! Okay, she's dead. We still got one... ...digger somewhere. All right, uh, let's, uh, let's go down. He is way the hell down there. Jeez. Okay, um, damn. Where's the, okay, our base is that way. I'm just going to. Dig my way out this way. Okay. Wow. So we're going to have to do some ground patching here. Um, let's go get our motorcycle. This is really concerning because it's right by the supports of our base. Um, okay, so for now, I'm just going to... So I'm just going to plug those there just so I remember there's a hole there. Um, okay. Let's do a quick stack. And then what we want to do here is got some stuff to take over and sell. We might not even, uh, you know, pull him back out again. So look, yeah, we got four small engines plus the one that's in the, Generator, so that's really good. Uh, don't think I want to put it there. Yeah, let's put it right there. Let's go up to here. And I guess the first thing is... Darkeen Scythe. Things wicked looking. Okay, let's track this. And we'll grab the stuff we need to make it. And then we'll, I'm sure we have to... Let's look in here. So this is what we need to make a tier three skeleton warrior. And then how many do we need to make the permanent version of that? 
We need eight. Okay, so we need to make eight potions, plus we'll make some extras. Um, how many can we do? 96. Okay, so how about we make 18? So we'll, we'll eight for our permanent and then 10 more to use as needed. Very good. And then we're going to need um, 18 vials of murky water and question now is where did I put the extra vials? I think I have some more. Uh, if not, we can make them right here. Okay, so we need 18 of those. So we are going to have to make some more. But this is enough to get our permanent warrior first, and we can fill those up from the sink, which is super handy. Okay, there's, there's 10, so let's get started with the uh, these potions. Okay, so while we're waiting on that, let's get the stuff we need for the darking scythe. So we're going to need 20 steel. We're going to need one silver and eight screws. Okay, we can make three more of those, and then we're going to need to make five more. Well, I'll actually just make a big old batch of the vials. So we just need eight of those to make the, the warrior. And then I guess we're going to retire um, pincushion. Let's grab that mortar and pestle out of here, and we'll put pin question in there. Um, yeah, let's just put that there for now. That works. And there's our eight. Okay, so let's get started with you then. That'll only take ten minutes, or ten seconds rather. Okay, put those down there. We'll make the rest of them later. And let's try out our new guy here. Way cool. I like the little uh, blade things on his head. Okay, oh, he's back to using a machete. Interesting. That's what the tier one used as well. <laughs> I dig his shoes. <laughs> Oh man, that's awesome. Okay. <clears throat> um we're gonna call you uh let's see, change my name. We're gonna call you Blade, except for we need to not have the fucking caps lock on. Okay. We're channeling a little bit of Wesley Snipes here. Cause you know, he's kinda got the blade things in the head and he's using a blade, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm feeling. Blade. How's it going, man? Same inventory space as the rest of them? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, he's got 1,356 health. Um, so yeah, even 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 tougher. Okay, back to this. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm doing five different things at the same time, and I'm a terrible um, multitasker, because I'm a guy, you know. Um, start that, and then I'll just set that down somewhere out here. For the garden... Yeah, we'll have to figure out what we're going to do about the garden. I really like the way that it looks out here. It's just got that cool vibe to it. So I don't know if I'm going to change any of that. Maybe maybe there's room to do the garden up on the roof. Except for I don't remember how to get on the roof. <laughs> uh, how do we get on the roof? Is there... Well, I guess we could do it that way. Can we, oh, can we actually use these? Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna have to, we have to buy a solar panel and test that out. <clears throat> Cause that would be huge if we could actually use them. So we might need to put the garden somewhere else. Uh, because I don't want to mess with the feng shui up here. Dude, you're not off to a good start. Don't fall through holes. 
Um, let's go to the trader. <coughs> Excuse me. Make our dark keen scythe. Get the stuff turned in, and then we got to wrap up this episode. We're going really long. But uh, we've just had a lot of good stuff happen, you know. Oh shit! Why do these things happen to me? Okay, ammo exchange. Sell. I believe that's all we want to sell. That gets us up to twenty-three fifty-six. <clears throat> um. Yeah, we need twenty-seven hundred. Okay, so we don't quite have enough for another book yet. I want to make some vials, empty potion vials. We need uh, we need sand for that. Okay, we have to go farm up some sand. Let's do the trade in. Uh, or the turn in too, by the you way. You think you're pretty smart now, don't you? I kind of do. Here's your pay, Einstein. Okay, if we would get the cash, that would give us enough to to buy another book. Um, yeah, let's do that. Now let's gain century outlet. Let's make a pact. You do something for me, or maybe I won't kill you. Maybe I won't kill you. I would like to get another sexy tea book. You know, so when we're mailing, we have a little more stamina. Okay, so that takes care of that. All right, one darking scythe coming up. This is cool. Uh, let's grab those and do some more high power conversions. And then I, I'm going to have to do some lead mining. Okay, here we go. One dark inside. Look at that thing, man. It's got like runes on it and some kind of goop. <laughs> it's wicked looking though. Oh, I love it. Okay, so how does, uh, let's take the mods off of here. And how do the two compare? Okay, so this has almost two more points of normal damage, almost ten more points of power attack damage, and some more block damage. That's a pretty nice improvement, I think, overall. Um, and then it still has four mod slots. I, I have a Grave Digger in there because that's the only other thing I had to put in there. Uh, but it does increase the, you know, the damage of it by a very slight amount. It looks like uh, that's a power attack. That's a normal. Looks like the animation's the same. Hmm. Was that the case with this one? Here's a normal. Here's a power. Yeah. I never noticed that before. It looks like the animation's the same regardless of which type of attack you do. Very interesting. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap up today's episode. And um, we are now at 56.79 on Charisma. So my my plan for the next few episodes is just to keep doing jobs so we can get this up to level two so we can get Charismatic Nature. And we did find that generic book from that bandit attack. So we'll use that book to make the Charismatic Nature book itself, you know, once we get level two. But we have to be level two, of course, before we can read it. And then that'll give us two, not one, but two followers. So we're making good progress. But here's the thing, as you guys probably know by now, um, you know, this game scales up with you. So I, I am I am nervous. I'm not going to lie. I'm, a, I'm nervous about hitting level 30 because that's when seekers start to show up. It's so, oh, my God, we'll uh, we'll deal with it. Right. We'll make it work. But it's uh, it's going to be a challenge. But that's what also makes this mod really awesome, too. I don't see myself getting bored with it anytime soon. <laughs> uh, all right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.